Hi, my name is Gary Nealon. I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and I own a company called The Rocks Group, which is specializes in importing kitchen cabinets and selling them online. Uh, well, Gary, thanks for taking the time to uh, share kind of your story with everybody. Um, you're a superhero in the e-commerce space, and you run a, you're pretty modest because you run a very, very, very large e-commerce company. But before we get into all that stuff, um, I'd love for you to kind of share just your history and your your background, how you got to kind of uh, get into the business that you're in right now. Yeah, sure. I took uh, kind of a, a wrong turn at some point, but um, I think we all I do, don't we? <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, I graduated college uh, with a marketing and information uh, degree and uh, moved away to Virginia um, and actually started in the logistics industry as a director of sales for a logistics company for about 10 years. Um, decided I was going to, uh, or smarter than everybody else, and that I was going to buy my own company. Um, so I did uh, the whole due diligence process, found some investors, uh, and bought a company in the dollar industry, which immediately tanked uh, right after I bought it. Um, the price of fuel and oil and everything went up, and obviously everything in the dollar store is made out of plastic. So yeah, um, learned quickly that uh, buying a business was not the right way to go. So I actually started uh, a website. Started out of my house about eight years ago, uh, which is the Rocks Group or RTA Cabinet Store. Um, and we literally just grassroots it, started working with Craigslist and building up a following and uh, got into SEO and optimizing the sites and driving traffic. Uh, and it's just taken off from there um, to where we now have a 30,000 square foot facility here in Philadelphia. Um, we share another 150,000 square feet, about two hours north of here. And we do anywhere from 250 to 300 kitchens a week out of our facility right now. Yeah, and the other thing that you do is, you're modest on this, is you're also a supplier to a lot of the uh, you know, reno shows on HGTV and DIY Network, right? Yes, we work with uh, about 20 to 25 shows a year. Uh, we actually supply the product for the shows and sometimes get our name and ugly mug on the show at the same time. <laughs> uh, so, you know, before, you know, you and I, or you, you kind of met up with this 90 year concept stuff, where were you at in your business and what kind of frustrations were you personally doing? Because I mean, again, like, you know, there's people that have shared their stories that were in kind of more of a startup stage or they were kind of ramping things up. You were well beyond that. Um, you're in a, a fairly scaled up business. So what were kind of the frustrations that you were dealing with? Um, as the business owner, yeah. So as you mentioned, I, we were this was I guess seven years in at that point, um, and we were growing steadily twenty to thirty percent a year. Um, so growth wasn't the issue; it was really how my day was structured and and how we kept it going. Um, I was struggling with the idea of you know the tasks I was handling and what was I really making the most out of my day. Yeah. Um, since I was running multiple companies at that time, I have the marketing company as well. Uh, I was having a hard time figuring out what I should be focusing on and I started noticing that I was getting wrapped up in operational things and even small tasks that I really shouldn't have been focusing on that uh, were wasting my time and that weren't as valuable as some of the, the bigger idea things that I was really good at. Yeah, just pulling, it's a classic case of getting pulled down into the weeds of the, of the business because you know how to do it, but that doesn't mean that you should be doing it. Yeah, I was getting wrapped up in mundane tasks just because from the beginning I was doing that and I never got to the point where I would give it off to somebody else and let them manage it. Yeah. Um, and so uh, we kind of dive into this stuff together and, you know, what's been, what have been some of the shifts that have happened for you since, you know, applying this and, you know, any, any sort of results as well on the business side of things? Yeah. I mean, the biggest thing for me was uh, I was able to really step back and take a look at the tasks I was doing. Uh, as you kind of mapped out for me, break them down into you know like the ten dollar, hundred dollar, and thousand dollar tasks, and start outsourcing with that stuff. So uh, within a couple months of you and I working together, we ended up bringing on um, four virtual assistants down the Philippines. Started outsourcing a lot of the kind of rudimentary tasks that could be repetitive and, and be done by somebody uh, at a much much lower pay grade. Yeah, uh, and it allowed me to focus on kind of the big ideas and where do we take the company next and yeah. you know, how do we grow it. Um, so it's really helped me dive into the marketing side, which was my skill set. And uh, you know, we've this year alone, we've got a couple of big projects that could easily double the com size of the company. Yeah, and I mean, you can, you can even tell from uh, 
the background that uh, Gary is, is sitting in front of, uh, that uh, he is an experienced marketer. <laughs> and uh, he, he has good branding in the background because he also has another venture called Wine that, Trail Adventure. That wasn't intentional. By yeah, way. I know it wasn't. <laughs> You're just trying to find a, a place that's sane inside of the, uh, the offices there where you can um, do this, but, um, yeah, you're, 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 you're a smart guy that way. Even if it wasn't intentional, it's sometimes you become so good. You're, you're unconsciously competent at it. Um, I was going to tattoo it on my forehead, but I figured that would be a little too obvious. So yeah, I'd have been fine with it. I'd have been fine with it. Um, you know, and like what from, by you being able to work on those more big idea, important tasks, you know, a, how has that actually affected the other leaders that are inside of your business? Um, and B, what sort of hard numbers is, has that delivered for the business as well? I think in terms of what it did for the employees, um, I was tended to micromanage and I was, they came to me for answers instead of actually trying to think of the answer themselves. Yeah. So I think by me outsourcing a lot of that stuff and giving them, delegating more authority, um, it's allowed them to become better at solving things without having to get me involved. Yeah. Uh, so it's freed up myself, but it's also given them a little bit more of a, uh, importance in the company. Well, it gives them that sense of autonomy. And then, and then, and then that byproduct of that is typically it helps with the culture then. Yeah. Um, and in terms of growth, since then, uh, last year we reached, I think it was 30% growth, uh, which resulted in roughly, I think it was $2 million in sales growth. Mm -hmm. uh, and then this year we're already on track to do another, we're at roughly 25%. I think growth right so far this year. Yeah. So it just keeps compounding each year with me being able to focus on these bigger projects. Yeah. And I mean, another, another kind of great byproduct of some of the, the stuff that you've been up to too. I mean, we don't have to share it right now, but you mean you're, you're involved in a, in a business deal that, you know, might free up a lot of your time as well. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, cool. So, you know, is there anyone that you think the 90 day concepts in a year wouldn't be for? Or who do you no, think it's, it's who do you think it's great for? I, I mean, honestly, it fits for any skill set or any level of business or even outside of business. I, it, just in terms of general time management, um, whether it's somebody at home or somebody working on a business, uh, yeah, I think it's also most important is when you're first getting started. I mean, you tend to people tend to think I can't spend money on this, but when you step back and really look at what it costs you to do some of these tasks versus what you could be doing. Um, I think it even makes sense from a, a startup company all the way up to you know an experienced uh, company that's just looking to uh, to keep continue growing. Yeah, well, like it's that. I mean, at every single level, there's distractions, and in probably if there's any level where it's the most important is that startup stage where you're you're, you're obviously you've you've typically got less experience and like I mean your skill set in business is very different than someone who's you know maybe just one year or just starting out or two years into their business. Um, or, you know, into the business world and um, knowing what the most important, highest leverage things are that you should be working on as a result of where you're at is invaluable at that level. I, right. I mean, even for, even for myself, like some of these, con I mean, some of these ways of working um, would have definitely streamlined my process when I first started out too. Absolutely. I mean, even in, just in going to different conferences and everything you read online, I mean, there's just so much information out there that you can get bogged down in all the different ideas where if you're not focusing on the right ones, it could either mean your company doubling or your company going under. Yeah. So yeah. by really narrowing down those key tasks that you should be focusing on, uh, you know, it's just going to improve your chances of succeeding. Cool. Um, so any kind of, you know, before we wrap it up, any sort of final words for people that, um, or anything that I missed, a question that I should have asked that I didn't ask? No, I mean, I, to me, the, the program's done exactly what I was hoping to get out of it. I mean, it's helped... Free, not free up my day, but help prioritize what I should be doing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's helped me set the goals and, and be able to target them on a weekly basis. And I see the continued growth within the company and within my own uh, time management skills. So it's done wonders for me. Well, Gary, uh, super appreciate your time. I know that you're uh, very, very busy and you've got a big operation to run. So uh, thanks for taking the time out and sharing your experience with everybody. No problem. Cheers, man.